This is full-time Devils. We are playing Northampton in the Carling Cup. Capital One Cup, Worthington Cup. I don't remember what it's called, so I'm just going to call it the League Cup. We're playing them in the third round. Today, on the preview, I have Smithy, who's a Northampton fan, as you can tell. And, as always, Adam McCullough is there as well. So, Adam, when we first found out about this game, we probably thought... It's a bit of a meaningless one, really. We're not too fussed about the competition. It's a good chance to play the youth, give them a chance, play a weaker squad. But with three defeats in a row now for Man United, has this turned into a bit of a, a bit of a must win? And would you play a bit of a stronger team? Tell me. Um, well, after three defeats in a week, another defeat, and it looks really, really bad. So I, we obviously do need a victory here. But I don't think we'll see a team that I think at least half the team that plays today won't play on the weekend. So I think it's hard then to judge. But I think what this game can help us to do, um, I think we should take it seriously, obviously. I think Jose will. He's got a good record in the League Cup. Um, and I think thirdly, we've got a big squad. We need to utilise this squad. So the, U the League Cup could be one of the opportunities to do that. Um, so we have to take it seriously. But... I don't think the team will be the same team that, that lines up against Leicester at the weekend. And I think we could use this game still to build some players' match fitness. We've seen that a lot of players haven't got that at the moment. Luke Shaw apparently is out for, for a while now. So maybe we could use that to try someone at left back. Daily Blind at left back. Marcus Rojo, give him some minutes at left back. I don't know, but we can, we can figure things out. But still, we need a result as well. And with Northampton being at home... Um, they'll be confident um, with their home fans. So, it'll be a tricky one, but we need to win it. Simple as. Smithy, so uh, United under a bit of pressure now, going to an away, yeah. Carly, uh, an away League Cup game. Are you maybe seeing a potential flashback of the time that we got done by MK Dons? Could that happen by Northampton uh, when we play them tomorrow? I hope so. I <laughs> hope so. Um, yeah, like everyone in England and across the world knows how bad the United are doing at the minute in their poor form but any team United put out should really be a League One team um, we're not bad in form at all 11th in the league one defeat in 31 games league games that's pretty um, sensational form can I see an upset if we get any faces and play football at high tempo yeah I can but realistically I think United will win this one yeah, like you say as well there about um, any team that United put out should be able to beat a League One team. I kind of agree with that where, in a sense that even if we are going to rest players, there is no excuse for not winning this game. All respect to Northampton, but United, even if they play um, players that you know are barely we've barely really seen this season, they should still definitely be able to get the win. But... Same applied for Feyenoord, so you just never know what's going to happen. Now, uh, a massive talking point at the minute is, of course, Wayne Rooney. We do have a huge debate uh, coming very soon to talk about him. I know, Adam, that you're sick of talking about him, but this is a very interesting game because if he doesn't play, maybe you wouldn't class it as him being dropped. But uh, would you? do you want to see him against Northampton? Do you think that maybe this is a chance for him to, I don't know, maybe kickstart a bit of form going into the season? And I'm sick of saying things like that. Look here, you know, with Wayne Rooney, yeah, I think there's people that are either two sides of the spectrum. Mm. You either think he can't do no wrong and he needs to start every single game, which is wrong, and you either think he's totally finished, he's ruined, he's never going to do anything good for Man United again. I think both of those opinions are wrong. But I've, I've gone to feeling sorry for Wayne Rooney now from a time where I was getting criticised for criticising Wayne Rooney and I was thinking to myself, why isn't anybody seeing this? And now everybody sees it and I'm starting to feel sorry for the guy. Like, he's achieved... I'm going to... Right, I'm going to defend Wayne Rooney here. I might sound hypocritical, but he's not finished. He still has something to offer to Manchester United. He just shouldn't be in the starting lineup week in, week out. It's that simple. Well, that's he's up that, that age yeah. now where we have to start easing him out. Ryan Giggs came to that point where we didn't play him every game. Rio Ferdinand came to that point. Gary Neville came to that point. Now, they may have came to points at different stages in their careers, but Wayne Rooney has been playing a phenomenal amount of football in the last 16, 15 years. He's been at the top of one of the best teams in the world. He's helped us achieve everything. And you know what? That's going to take its toll. Now, based on his footballing ability, well, not his ability, his footballing form at the moment, he doesn't deserve to be anywhere near Manchester United's starting lineup, and he shouldn't be. I That's think it, it, the fact. 
But I do. F- I'm starting to feel a bit sorry for him. Uh, I think it's very different. It's very different what you're saying there, though, when you're saying that he shouldn't be in the starting eleven. That's a very different thing to saying that he's done, finished, needs to go. But I think um, people people don't see people either, either see black or white. There's no in between yeah. with a lot. Yeah, of yeah, you're right. Well, when you say drop Wayne Rooney, they automatically think you're saying let's get him hung, drawn, and quartered, and it's not always that way. Uh, Smithy, you're an England fan. Um, what are your thoughts on Rooney then at the minute and, and his uh, and his general form over the past? Well, this season and potentially over the past three seasons as well. I agree with everything Adam said. It, the biggest thing with him is he's just so inconsistent. Like you can see the things that he does, like that overhead kick against Man City, all those goals he scored over the years. England's record goal scorers will be on course to be United's record goal scorer. But it's just so inconsistent. And it's, I watched a game against Watford and but the amount of passes that went straight it was unbelievable. The player of his ability and on the wage he's on as well. But the thing with Wayne Rooney is he'll always be England's wonder boy when he, from when he came on the scene with Everton, scored that class goal against um, Arsenal. He'll always be scrutinised by the media. That's the only thing, because it's Wayne Rooney. Yeah. He's England's, England's number one. Yeah, England's golden boy, wasn't he, for a bit? And I think that... Um, the thing with Rooney is at the start of the season, I was saying, you know, that Jose is going to start him at the, at the beginning and then eventually he will realise that he's not quite up to scratch and will eventually uh, end up dropping him. And I kind of think that we're very close uh, to seeing that actually happen. And I, can't, I don't think he's going to start on the weekend against Leicester, but we will see. Anyway, we do have a big Wayne Rooney debate, a huge Wayne Rooney debate on the way on the channel. So look out for that. Guys, let's get straight and see with the 11 for the game. Adam, who are you playing uh, for Man United? Uh, I think Romero will start this one. I thought he'd start against Feyenoord and he didn't. Um, David De Gea had a, <laughs> probably his worst game since the early days of David De Gea's career where he was just flapping at everything. And I think he, he was at fault for a few things that happened. So, uh, well, he was partly to blame for the first goal, the lack of communication between him and Smalling. Um, obviously, Smalling just coming in. But anyway, I'd give him a rest, put Romero in. That's not dropping him, it's just resting him. And then I'd play Timothy Foles, who mentor at right back. Um, I'd play Marcus Rojo at left back because we need to see what he can do there. We need to see whether we can play Marcus Rojo against Leicester on Saturday or whether we need to put in Daily Blind at left back, um, which makes me think, why is Cameron Borthwick Jackson at Wolves? But anyway, moving on from that, um, I'd go with Blind and Bailey at the back again. Um, I know a lot of people are selecting Twan Zabi and stuff like that. That's not going to happen. We've got a squad of 23 plus three goalkeepers. So the players that have been playing all up until now, probably most of them are going to fall out. And then it's going to be the, the other players that are on the fringes. I don't think any of the under 23s are going to get called up. Um, so I'd go with them two in defence. In the midfield, I'd go with Schneiderlin and Carrick. Um... And I'll go with Matter in the hole. It's hard, this one, isn't it, at the moment? Because I'd play Rashford up front, Memphis out wide, and Jesse Lingard on the other side. I'll tell you what my team is. I think that we need something a bit strong today uh, against Northampton. I think that, you know, there's quite a bit of time before the next Premier League game. We've not been in great form. I think this is just a great chance for some players who maybe haven't been up to scratch to sort of get themselves back on uh, back on track a little bit. That's not necessarily talking about Wayne Rooney, though. Um, I would play David De Gea in goal. I think he should start. FA C- uh, Carlin Cup, I think he'll get a game still. Um, I, don't, I don't think we'll see Romero a lot for United, to be honest. Uh, on the right... I like your shout of Fosu Menza, um, but just to be different, I'll put Damian. Maybe not seen enough of him so far. Smallin and Bailey as the two centre halves, just because obviously they've come off the back of, of three defeats. Really, a chance for them to to prove that they can uh, they can put a partnership together. Uh, left back, uh, I put Daily Blint because I think that it's a good uh, good chance to see how he plays there going into the weekend's game against Leicester. And I want to see a new formation. I want to see a good old classic four four two. United so I've not got anything written down so I'll do it off the top of my head on the left uh, put Tony Marshall the two centre mids I'm trying to think who's not really played yet this season Carrick's not had a game I think that Carrick should play but I want to see him play on weekend as well so whether he can start the two games is a is a big if Carrick will play I don't think Pogba's gonna play 
So maybe Ander Herrera starts alongside Carrick as centre midfielder. On the right, I think someone like Jesse Lingard can come in, a young lad for this game. Well, he's about 24 now, but still, uh, he's learning as he goes along, just keeps getting better. And then up top, I will go with... Marcus Rashford and Memphis Depay. Let's give Memphis Depay a go up top. And you'll be saying, why doesn't Memphis start on the left? Why not just put Marshall and Rashford uh, up top? Because I like Tony Marshall as a left winger and I think he needs to learn how to play that position because hey, I think Marshall, that's what he's going to be playing think... this season for United. Is he injured still? Is he going to be a bad well, injury? I don't think he's going to play this game because it... I could look stupid if he starts and I'm not trying to you know, make you look like an idiot. <laughs> right, so if Marshall's there, you know what? We'll put Lingard on the left and we'll bring Mata in to play on the right. That'll work. That'll work. It's, and at the end of the day, like I say, no disrespect to Northampton, but it bloody should work against the League One team. Uh, Smithy, tell me about where we should be worried for this game. Uh, have you got any stars in that lineup? Um, we've got a midfield player called Matty Taylor. I'm sure you guys know of him. He's ex-Portsmouth in West Ham. Scored that one the goal halfway line for Portsmouth. Few seasons back, he signed on a free this summer from um, Burnley. He scored a couple of great goals, and he's got a wicked left foot on him. Um, he's the guy that never ages. He's the guy that never ages. Babyface Matty Taylor. Benjamin Button in the middle. <laughs> we've got a we've got a six foot two, six foot three striker called Alex Revel as well. So just expect a lot of long ball bumps up to him. He's an absolute monster in the air. So whoever plays centre back for you guys will have a battle on his hands. Oh, Eric Bailey and Small, and then with a battle on the hands. So, McCola, tell me what score you're saying. I used to, I used, you know Northampton, yeah? Yeah. I, I, I used to throw them in accumulators quite a lot last season. They did quite well for me, so um, I won't be throwing in one tomorrow. I'm going for 3-1 United win. I the hope. Re the Memphis reason... going to score. The reason that I've started uh, quite a strong lineup, and that's what I want to see United mm. play, is because I think this is a chance just to get some goals on the board and just get confidence up a little bit. So I'm going to say a big scoreline. I will say 4 0, and hopefully it's not going to be Louis van Aal esque. Smithy, uh, what score are you saying? I'm sure that you're going to predict a shock for the boys. I want to go for 2 1 Northampton, but realistically, I think it'll be 3 1 United. Well, we will see. We will see. Guys, get in your comments below. Tell me about the score. Talk to me about anything that we've spoken about today, whether it's Wayne Rooney, whether it's your 11. You can put your 11 down below as well. Uh, I've been Gaz. Thank you to Smithy for joining us, Northampton fans today, and McCullough as well. We'll see you next time. Laters.